So here is my team's bridge design. And I tried to make sure that I met all of the constraints of the design challenge. So the span of my bridge is 47 centimeters long, so it's longer than the required 40 centimeters. The height of my bridge from the tabletop to the top of my bridge is 22 centimeters, so that hits the required 20 centimeter height. Um, a 10 centimeter high can can fit all the way through beneath my bridge and that meets the eight centimeter requirement. And then here's the weight that I'm gonna put in the center of the bridge. So it needs to hold the weight. So it was a little bit tricky there, but it's, it's holding it. And it also needs to hold a toy car on one side of the span. And it has to do all of this through a 15 second uh, shake test. So here I am in my liquefaction prone sandy soil. Um, every time you redo the test, you kind of have to reset the soil, stir it up so the water sinks into the sand. It's not floating at the top anymore. So you do want each group to have kind of a firm surface again so it's fair. So you have to mix it, make sure all the water goes down. Oops. And you can let the kids do last minute Securing of their structure and the soil if they want to. And remember, it has to stay standing and maintain its main structure. If it loses a couple pieces here and there, that's fine. But it has to stay standing with the weight and the car on it for 15 seconds of shaking. And to make sure that the shaking is fair, I just use painter's tape and I put it about one inch apart. So let me put it to that first line. And so we're just gonna shake it by pushing it one inch forward and then one inch back, back and forth for 15 seconds. And that's gonna be the test. And Daisy is going to do the shake test and the team can shake their own piece, um, uh, their own bridge. One way you can make sure that the test stays pretty much the same for each group is just to put two pieces of tape an inch apart and that's the farthest they have to shake so they don't have to do really really hard shaking um but you should try to make sure that each group does the same pace and it's kind of heavy with the with the it's kind of hard with the really heavy trays so um daisy's gonna try it for 15 seconds you're gonna time it that's actually the average length of a earthquake in california so i'll tell you when to go daisy one two three go Yeah, that's perfect. Ah! <laughs> so we lost our bridge and our car and it pretty much just fell over and that happened at 12 seconds. So our bridge did not survive the initial test, but we are going to make changes to our bridge, redesign and see how we can make it stronger. Okay, so we redesigned our bridge and we're going to retest it. A great part of the engineering design process is you can always kind of analyze your mistakes and redo it. We decided that our structure, our bridge, needed more support, more reinforcement at the bottom. Um, so at the bottom of each of the straws, we put a jumbo marshmallow. The straw is still going down into the soil and we're hoping that some of the energy is gonna be absorbed by the marshmallow and it's gonna stay standing. So again, Daisy's gonna do the 15 second test. We have our 125 gram weight right here. Our car is right here. Um, technically before, both of these stayed on the bridge. It's just the entire bridge fell over. So <laughs> we're hoping this time it's gonna stay standing. And we did also fix the sandy soil. So we tried to get the water to go back into the soil again and make sure that the students do that so they're not working with super wet soil to begin with. We want 
them to start nice and clean. We don't want them to work on liquefied soil to begin with. So again, we're gonna do the 15 seconds on the count of three, one, two, three. Okay, and the speed that she's going on is perfect. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I was speaking totally right there. I think we actually did it. So in our team, we decided that we also have to add some bracing, some supports to the side of the bridge because it seemed like it was falling over to the side. Um, the marshmallows weren't enough. So this is our third redesign. Um, and again, that's the whole part of the engineering design process. If your first prototype doesn't work, you analyze the problems, you fix them, you rebuild or you fix your original model and then you retest. So that's exactly what we're doing. Um, again, she's adding the braces to the side. Okay, so we are back and this is our third time redesigning our prototype, our model. Uh, the initial time we added the jumbo marshmallows to the bottom, we felt like they would absorb some of the energy of the earthquake movement, um, but it was still falling over. So Daisy added another design change. And so she added the buttresses. Do you want to point them out? So the side supports right here to, um, to each one of the legs of the bridge on both sides, because we felt like the bridge was just falling over that way or falling over this way. So if the buttresses are on either side, we're hoping it's gonna stand out for the full 15 second duration. We did time the last one and it fell over exactly at 15 seconds. So we're gonna be honest and say that we didn't, we didn't actually meet the challenge. <laughs> but we're gonna do it again. So um, are we ready? Yeah. We fixed the soil so it's not liquefied anymore. It should be pretty firm. She's gonna do the shaking at the original um, pace that she set, which is perfect actually. So if your your kids can can kind of go at that pace, that'd be good. We have the weight on here. We have the Hot Wheel that is supposed to stay on there. Um, we've met. We still have the same span and height requirements that we've met. So now we just have to make sure that the structure stays up or the bridge stays up for the full 15 seconds. So on the count of three, one, two, three. Oh my God, I think it's gonna stay up. Yay, we did it! It didn't even like lean to one side, which is pretty good considering the last time it just fell over at five seconds, so. Good job. <laughs> so you can see our improvements to the structure. We added the jumbo marshmallow at the bottom of um, each one of the legs of the bridge. Oh, I actually didn't explain that we added, I don't think this actually helped at all, but we added a popsicle, popsicle stick at either end. And then um, Daisy added buttresses at each leg. So buttresses are these outside supports that lean up against um, the wall and they kind of take a lot of the, the force of the movement there and they support it from the ground to the top of the bridge. So there's a buttress there, a buttress there, there, there. And then at either edge. So yeah, considering that it completely fell over the first time, like after like five seconds, this is pretty good. So we're super excited at this point about the strength of our bridge. We actually added two more weights. So right now it has um, 250, 300, 375 grams of, of weight on top. The Hot Wheel is still there. It never fell off the second time or the third time around. Um, so we're gonna do another test to see if it'll still stand up with three times the weight. So I will tell you when to go. One, two, three. sagging at all? No. No. It's totally stable at this point. So I think we've totally met the challenge. 
You went beyond the challenge, actually. 